just like Kim, this, leaving us standing out in the cold. Yeah, if only to tell us that she's brought in her own team of people. That's a cheery thought. Oh, I'm sorry, I've just got a bad feeling about this. Well, you two will get your share either way. And at least he doesn't get it. You say that, but... I knew it! I knew it had to be you! I'm sorry. Come on, then. What's with all the cloak and dagger? No idea what you're talking about. The anonymous bid. Ah, you're talking about the auction, yeah? What else? Come on, Kim. Is it you? Well, that's why you're here, surely. Sorry I'm late, guys. Me? No one. Just getting a coffee. Right, so you being here is just purely coincidence. Charles? Not entirely. I need to speak to Nicola and Jimmy. Are you seriously telling me you had nothing to do with that bid? Charles? Shut up, will you? I'm trying to find out who's bought the pub. It's me, you daft cow. Right. I'll leave you lot to it. Ahem. <coughs> Sorry. We are. We are the new owners of the Woolpack. Surprise! No way. Charity. How the hell did she afford that? Ryan's had some inheritance money from his mum's estate, apparently. I thought she had a two-up, two-down in hot and... Uh, Charity must have borrowed the rest, which means Jimmy's in hock with her. Actually, no. Why do I get the feeling that this has got something to do with you not being at that auction? Spot on. Hmm. I didn't bid because I pursued a different opportunity. What opportunity? Wait a minute. Charity. Oh, right, great. There it is. She sold you her half of the haulage. <laughs> well, I can tell you right now, Jimmy is not going to like this one bit. Well, I suppose uh, congratulations are in order, boss. <laughs> nah, I'm not boss. Well, I think you'll find you're one of them. Well. I'm going to be leaving all the details to charity. It's too much like hard work otherwise. <laughs> I really honestly thought you'd be way more cheerful than this. I'm still in shock. Well, you don't need to be, OK? I've done it. I've saved the family firm. Nicely played. Thank you. I guess you're wondering why all the secrecy. I guess it wasn't because you like making an entrance. No, but that was a bonus. <sighs> Admittedly, the main reason being I only decided to go for it yesterday. I had to get Ryan on board and I didn't want to get everyone's hopes up. Oh, babe, come on, I'm freezing my butt off out here. And this is a cause for celebration. We can't go in there, can we? It's not going to be ready for some time, so I suggest we all go to the hide for a drink. My shout. I'll see you down there. Oh, see that coffee's not had much effect. No. I'll get her home. You go and celebrate. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm ready yet. Yeah? I would have thought you'd gone in for buying a posh car or something. Yeah, that'd be cool, but really, I wanted something to invest in, you know? Hey, excuse me. Plus, you get time to spend with me. Ticket everything went OK, then? Well, spent more than I wanted to due to Kane getting involved, but, yeah, it's all sorted. Good. Good. Hey, question. What has two thumbs and is your new landlord? <whistles> this guy. What? Well, I'm with the new landlady, so what does that make me? Do you really want me to tell you? Take it easy, mine host. Maybe go and get some Prosecco and ice, yeah? Only the best, right? Only the middling. I've bought the shell of a failing pub. I ain't won the lottery. I'm sorry, landlord, he's just getting a bit ahead of himself, OK? Like I said, I'm in charge. I'm going to need the best people around me. Look, whatever happened... Speech! Speech! Oh, shush. What, in front of four people? I don't think so. Feels a bit sad. Uh, I'll make a toast, though. <laughs> um, I lost the wool pack once before, remember? So it feels really great to get it back. And keep it in the family. 
To the wall park. To the wall, like. Uh. Listen. I meant what I said before, you know, about keeping it in the family and finding the right team. I'm going to need a bar manager. I'm going to need a chef. So how about you come over to me and we'll discuss the future? Tomorrow sound all right? Oh, I don't know. I've got lots on. Who am I kidding? It sounds like a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz, count me in, I guess. Excellent. So we can have a chat and then I can decide whether or not you two are going to, you know, still fit in. Sorry, that sounds like you want us to interview. For our old jobs. Kind of does, doesn't it? OK, well, I'll be in touch with the details. Oh, maybe just to impress. 